Hello everyone, welcome back to High School Mathematics channel. Today we are going to learn class 8, chapter 6, squares and square roots, introduction part and exercise 6.1. First let us see the introduction, numbers like 1, 4, 9, 16, 25 so on are known as square numbers. 1 square means 1 multiplied 2 times, so 1 into 1, 1. 2 square means 2 multiplied 2 times. So 2 into 2, 4. Next 3 square means 3 into 3, that is 9. 4 square means 4 into 4, that is 16. 5 square means 5 into 5, that is 25. Next 6 square means 6 into 6, 36. 7 square means 7 into 7, 49. 8 square means 8 into 8, 64. 9 square means 9 into 9, 81. 10 square means 10 into 10, 100. 1, 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, 64, so on. All these numbers are also called as perfect squares. See now, try these. Find the perfect square numbers between 30 and 40. Second sum, 50 and 60. Let us see the solution. First, we have to write 1 to 10 squares. See here, 1 square means 1, 2 square means 4, so on. 10 square means 100. Here we have to find perfect square numbers between 30 and 40. If we observe the squares here, between 30 and 40 only one number is present that is 36. 5 square is 25. 6 square means 36. 7 square means 49. 30 and 40 in between which number is present here? 36. So here perfect square numbers between 30 and 40 is 36. See now second one, we have to find perfect square numbers between 50 and 60. If we observe the squares, 7 square means 49 and 8 square means 64. So if we observe these square numbers, there is no square between 50 and 60. Therefore we can say, there is no perfect square number between 50 and 60. Here is the list of 1 to 20 squares. If we observe these square numbers, here the last digit that is the ending digit ends with 1, 4, 5, 6, 9 and 0. See here 1, 4, 9, 6, 5, 1, 4, 9, 6, we got here 5 and also 0 is present. Let us see 11 to 20 squares also. Here also the last digits ends with 1, 4, 9, 6, 5, 1, 4, 9, 6, 5 and here ending number is 0. Next, if we observe these square numbers, which numbers are ending with 1? 1 square and 9 square are ending with 1. Next, 2 square and 8 square ending with 4. Next, 3 square and 7 square are ending with 9 next 4 square and 6 square ending with 6 next 5 is ending with 5 and 10 value here ending value is 0 so we must keep it in our mind 1 and 9 are ending with 1 next 2 square and 8 square are ending with 4 Next, 3 square and 7 square ending with 9. 4 square, 6 square ending with 6. 5 square always end with 5. And 10 square, 20 square, 30 square, all these value end with 0. Here in this chapter, we need to learn all these squares from at least 1 to 20 squares so that it will be easy for us to solve the sums. Now let us see the exercise 6.1 sums. See now exercise 6.1. First question, what will be the unit digit of the squares of the following numbers? See the first one, 81 they are given number. If a number has 1 or 9 in its units digit, then its square ends with 1. Since here 81 has 1 as its units digit, then 1 will be the unit digit of its square. See now second sum. 272 they have given number. If a number has 2 or 8 in its unit digit then its square ends with 4. 
Since the number 272 has 2 as its unit digit, 4 will be the unit digit of its square. See now third question. They have given number 799. If a number has 1 or 9 in its unit digit, then its square ends with 1. Since the number 799 has 9 as its unit digit, 1 will be the unit digit of its square. See now fourth sum, 3853. If a number has 3 or 7 in its unit digit, then its square ends with 9. Since the number 3853 has 3 as its unit digit, 9 will be the unit digit of its square. See now fifth question. 1234. If a number has 4 or 6 in its unit digit, then its square ends with 6. Since the number 1234 has 4 as its unit digit, 6 will be the unit digit of its square. See now sixth question 26387. If a number has 3 or 7 in its unit digit, then its square ends with 9. Since the number 26387 has 7 as its unit digit, 9 will be the unit digit of its square. See now 7th sum 52698. If a number has 2 or 8 in its unit digit, then its square ends with 4. Since the number 52698 has 8 as its unit digit, 4 will be the unit digit of its square. See now 8th sum, 99880. If a number has 0 in its unit digit, then its square ends with 0. Since 99880 has 0 as its unit digit, 0 will be the unit digit of its square. See now question number 9. 12,796. If a number has 4 or 6 in its unit digit, then its square ends with 6. Since the number is 12,796 has 6 as its unit digit, then 6 will be the unit digit of its square. See now 10th sum, 55,555. If a number has 5 in its unit digit, then its square ends with 5. Since the number 55,555 has 5 as its unit digit, 5 will be the unit digit of its square. Today we have seen class 8 Chapter 6, Introduction Part and Exercise 6.1, First Question, 1 to 10 sums. In the next video, we shall see remaining sums. Hope you all like this video. If you like this video, please like, share to your friends and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.